Okay, finally got the new truck. This video is a complete evolution of my Navara from factory to ultimate tourer. Two inches of lift for free. Had this truck for about a week. I couldn't help myself. It literally had eight kilometers on it. Did a little bit of a off-road track near my house. <laughs> Not really, but you know, I just wanted to put it in full drive. 233 is fit without a lift. Why do I buy a new Navara? Why am I standing out in a storm? I'll tell you very soon. Stay tuned. Oh, I've got an old Navi. She just walks everywhere. Yeah. I've all the faith in the world, only because I've had two. <laughs> so is the Ranger with a uh, coil rear end, an extra turbo in it. <laughs> See you now, let's get rock up, yeah? Hi right, mate, not yet. Not yet? Here you go now mate. <laughs> Alrighty. We accidentally dropped rubbish, gotta go back and get it. I got you. Did you trip over? Screws came out of the bottom. I <laughs> got a screw loose. Screw loose. Water lift kit and why? I went for Superior full kit. They offer a full kit. It has bloody everything you probably just saw. The reason I went that is because you may remember in an older episode we went off roading with Lloyd and his Navara has the same kit in it. And just seeing what it drove like on that day. I was like, wow, this makes me want to a bit. A bit of a strange situation here. The only person available to help me is Jamie. This is Max busy doing 100 hours a week as per usual. Full joints cracked. Strut out. So you guys have got what? An hour head start on me? Shush. When is that? Right. Just don't. This is... So pre oh, okay. So not much. <laughs> <laughs> it's all still in there. God, we did get right. <laughs> Here we have a standard strut, and here's the new one. Nearly done. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Spin me right round, oh. baby, right round. Spin my head right round. Oh, it's nice and Ooh, big breeze, yeah. isn't it? Get right in there, white boy. Yeah, that feels good. Oh, yeah. What tightness does this have to be? 500 Newton meters. So, like six ooga doogas? <laughs> 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 So much in this kit, it's hard to even keep track of it all. Lower and upper control arms in the rear, panard bar, new brake lines, headlight adjustment, tail shaft cross member, coil over, adjustable shocks in the front, extended sway bar links, the list goes on. This kit is insane. I'll just put a list on the screen so you can see it. Strut is in, upper control arm is in. We're Been a long road, but finally it's all in. We're just getting the wheel alignment done now. It's all sitting level and perfect. One side done. 
Got one of these tub liners just because you saw how bad I scratched the tub already. Back from tough tornoes. Now you might be wondering from that last footage lower enough up control arm just appeared in. Jamin came around one afternoon and helped me actually crack those. So for arms, shock, panhard. So I'm just gonna put in, I forget what these are called. This sort of slots the spring back on when it comes off. And the retainer, this holds the spring at the base. And new brake lines. You can see, connect here up to here. But I almost broke that just getting the spring out. And I probably should have done brake line first. <laughs> We got used to this supervising gig. Oil man, go! Yeah. Well, swap. You can edit, and I'll just drive, drive around, eh? Uh, I'm busy that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's not all done, mate. Oh, leave these hooies. Sure, you know what else broke? The diff breather. When I was putting a spring in, I'm gonna have to zippy it or something about there, I reckon. Other than that, don't fucking know, mate. Right? Oh, get this breather kit from here all the way up. Yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll just walk through it. It's shallow. Have oh. been four drives? No. So clear. Just shallow. really really well but because of where the wheel poke and offset is tomorrow the other side is definitely going to chew out the tub when I tuck a tire so I'm just trying to check how bad that's going to be it looks like it might tuck under I don't know it's pretty scary not even close to full flex yet <laughs> Fine, let's see what happens. No, nah, that's engineered folk, that one. Oh, it's engine. Oh, yeah. right, okay. Yep. And I see you've taken the rear bumper off. Oh, we've got the front diff lock going in. Because you've really not set up for camping. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be twin lock camper soon. <laughs> yeah, she, she ain't no tourer. <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Oh, I'm just locking the diff. Hang up. That's not even near the diff. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the cheap model. No, I think you're looking for this. Oh. That probably worked better. Oh, oh, it's so funny. Axles are out. Magically a 10 minute drop. Yeah, we're, we're two minutes in. Oh, it's tight. That's a big bar, mate. Ah! No, I'll tell you, I'll show you a bigger bar. <laughs> oh, jeez! the 
concerning part because if you break the bearing, you need new bearings. <laughs> Buy new ones. And this is a bearing puller. Did I get it right? Yeah. I'll put two and two together. That's a bearing and that pulls. <laughs> That's exactly how you do it. Electromagnets. Yeah. So as this is energized, it becomes a magnet, locks that ring on, and then as the wheel rotates, these pins go up the ramp plate, push those pins down, push, push a big dock log, log ring, lock ring or whatever on the other side, and it locks it in. That easy. It's actually quite a simple mechanism, impressive way to That's do why it. Our block is very reliable. It's reliable because the only thing that can really go wrong is the wire breaks and then you just repair the wire, I guess. The locker is in. We've drilled the hole for the wiring. Now we've got some precision machinery tools. <laughs> it's actually, it hasn't been too bad. Would you rate this easier than a solid axle install? Yeah, the process of doing this is exactly the same, but Getting the diff out of the car was easier than a solar axle because you don't have to pull your CVs apart like your bloody swivel hubs. 0.10 of a millimetre. Which I think is the spec. It would literally break teeth off. Break teeth off. If you put 600 horsepower through it, it would snap a tooth. Oh, I'm lucky because the nav's got 600. Um, we've got it up, I forgot to film it, but we've got it up. <laughs> we got the diff back in, axles are back in the diff. And now I'm putting the drive shaft on and then the cross member. And then you've got to run the switch in the wire. And now I can stop it because it's unlocked. But... <laughs> yeah, and I, now it's locked. And that's the test. That's the test. Hey, Bert and Tate, skate and cheek and leg and ball drive action today. Yeah. Copy rubber ducky in the big nav. Oh, nice. Hey, what? Have to get that driveway sorted, man. It's hairy. There's a wild bit of kit that, that driveway hey. Well, luckily Harrop sorted us out and we got in one piece first time. <laughs> Three proper switches now. They're bloody orange. <laughs> Alright, I talked him into it. He wants to go home. TJ, this is the only way home. <laughs> You're doing good, why'd you stop? Doing good, good job. Right up. A bit more left. Oh, that's that too it? easy. Is that it? Is that it? That was it. <laughs> that was now it. there's a good, like, comparison to a front locker. Yeah, that was well easier. Nothing spun. Nothing spun. Nothing spun. Nothing spun. Nothing spun. Nothing spun. Nothing spun.
happy with using a swag when we go out <laughs> so I'm just tub rack and tent on the tub rack trick Mac did this like four years ago and a lot of people were mind blown because they didn't know how it works so I'm going to show you this is how you hide your tub rack or have a very low one Invisible. <laughs> I'm just going to do a quick run through and show you guys how this actually works because a lot of people ask it's really simple. Box section here, get the top rack there. Carry the one over the two <laughs> equals. Before you know it, you got yourself an invisible tub rack. But this is 25 by 50 mil, two mil steel. Which is very similar to a roof rack, I guess. They just got a lace of bloody dime bags and you're all over it. Feasible tub rack. You put a tub rack on here, clamps to your bars. Starts to get pretty scenic. We um, made a few stops, sent the drone out, got a few shots. Little dirt track, there's about a kilometre, comes down through the bush. Come out here, so. Bluetooth now, this one. Yeah, where's the outlet? <laughs> More mods for the nav. Bendix break up day. Up to upgrade. <laughs> I can't talk. I've only had two coffees. I've been meaning to do this upgrade, so pretty happy about it today. Thanks, Sam. Alright, oh, you can do the rest now, right? Yeah, alright. Well, you can do the other side. It's actually easy. A lot of four drives you have to pull all the hubs off and everything, but this should. It's like a bloody two wheel drive car.
Gonna break an ankle. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was gonna last longer than Get a set for 99.95. <laughs> Yeah, Bendix brakes still sort of get worn in. <laughs> squeaking a bit. If it's dry. If it's dry. I mean, this fills up with water that deep, so be careful. And then it becomes a maroon, <laughs> almost red. Because <laughs> then that rock to get out is very slippery. But it's dry as bone today, so here we go. Would recommend rear locker at least for this. Very clamping. Bloody uh, top bloke, so it's been yeah, sour. They've gone above and beyond. And Red Arc's done the electrical fit out. I'm gonna run that in later on the video because Sam sort of explains it much better than I can. So. It. Yeah, it makes it, it makes it look bad. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh, nice. Look at this Whoa. big red arc thing. It's a bit flash, it makes me wonder. Come on, over here. All right, cut me off then. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll run the show. No. You found the Esky slide. We've got the Esky slide. <laughs> 
Oh, that's wild. How good is that? Plug it. No, 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 no. You don't plug it. <laughs> oh, shit. That's magnetic. Sorry. It's the same system I've got. That's how I know it. Is your name Sam Red Ark Isles? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Let me show you. So Red Vision, right. we got this. So there's a screen. So this is essentially the... Oh, no, well, I need water. that light. What are you... Oh, we're, we're on, we're on, we're on. <laughs> He's gone the full Red Vision system, which is basically all internal relays on this box here. So all your lights, everything is done from that switch panel. You don't need external switches, relays. Basically, battery goes straight in here, and then all the output straight from there. Lithium battery, which is gang, so they're like 10 kilos. That's probably 100 um, amp hour lithium. Run everything. This is your Manager 30, which is all your charging. It takes your alternator charge input, takes your solar input, so it has the DC DC. It has your solar uh, regulator, also two 40 volt charging. So you can plug this into the wall at home if your canopy's off the car. Charge your battery before you go camping. Throw it on the car, and you're good to go, 100%. Thousand watt inverter. That's <laughs> good. He's good. Are we getting that? <laughs> yeah, just pop around to my store at redarc.com. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, I want one. Good, straight, just keep going. Bit of left. Yep. I have no idea if he's good. Left. You're good. Straight. Straight. Oh, that was lucky. Wow.
was pretty scary, that one. <laughs> Currently about 40,000 degrees out here. Guys, I'm on a trip, I'm down south, over the border, in New South Wales. <whistles> been a while since I've been down here and I don't think I've actually even had the nav over the border, to be honest. We just had a bit of a quick stop to let the tyres down. This road is very slippery, so you can see my window. Just heading through this little fire trail trying to get to camp here and it's getting a little bit muddy. Can't tell if we just fluke this uh Bit of fog here, but man, it looks cool, hey. This will be a little bit different to what you're used to. Yeah, it's way different actually. Turn into a bush basher now. Yeah, it's going to be scratched. Super scary bloody cave hole thing that we got to drive over. Massive hole in the ground there that you do not want to fall in. Hey, bloody easy. <laughs> Pack up here and go for a little drive today. Just got up early this morning, made a coffee, uh, charged some batteries, because a few batteries are going flat. It's like a bigger tyres, he's got the twin lockers. You know, see what happens, hopefully he drives it too. I think we worked out whose nav's better. His has way more clearance than mine. Like I dragged the whole way, he cleared the whole way. So I made a little mistake. 
the back driver's side just caught my wheel and pulled me into this huge rut, massive rut. I was like, oh crap. And then the further I went forward, it just pulled the front of the car in and ate me holes. <laughs> I can turn. There's more, there's more rut behind me. It's just gonna keep in the same rut. Yeah, just trying to formulate a plan to get TJ's car out of this mess, so. Turn that way. Bit more? Yeah. No, we will not sell. Never. Never sell. <laughs> yeah, mate. Just sold 15 million property just there. Jump change. Like, not noise cancelling mode and it's really loud. Yeah, mate. Just launched 15 websites just then. <laughs> well, not a bad view, though. Sorry, I'm not paying attention to the background. I've got a big dad bit on it, mate. Ooh, it's breezy now. You're getting that along the leg. Fatal error. You just gotta uh, turn it off. Turn it back on again and turn it off again. Fatal error. Tech support, he's got it for Let's just do a quick speed test, guys. Yeah. See what the internet's like up here. <laughs> we're what speed we got, mate? Well, uh, we're not, we've nearly cracked one megabyte a second. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually legitimately working here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not here to, I won't say that. Full scrub. <laughs> oh well, that's a pretty fun little flexi section, but onward we go. It's popped out onto this main road. I think uh, that was the end of that little track. Pretty easy. A little bit of flexi, but yeah, nothing extreme. Now we're going to head to camp. First night out. Get the shot, mate. A few little technical hill climbs, nothing too crazy. Fairly loose, hey? Yeah. Sounds going to be interesting. Might yeah. Have to turn and winch me. <laughs> yeah, that big step's going to be fetch. I think it's going to be momentum up it. I think it's because I'm heavy at the moment. Mm. In my can like when I got my canopy on the nav, like you feel the weight on these hill climbs, like you feel it start churning more. Struggling to even start. It's not really a perfect line on this. Like you look at it and it's just like, well, what do you do except launch it up the middle? And can't go like about a car and a half, uh, car and a half length back maybe. You got that big ass rock there. That you just. Where oh, are you going? Oh, That's man. it. You were going. <laughs> Okay, go on. Sitting on anything. It's just the motor's too weak. <laughs> yeah, keep coming the line you're on.
through this gnarly little rock garden bit. It's pretty tight. It goes for a long way, this road, so I'm not sure we're going to do it yet. I just gonna straight off, I bashed a few things, but I made it. This one side on. Yeah, it just starts to like hold you back a bit, but it doesn't actually really stop you. But I just like put both your lockers in. And just don't obviously just slow steady pace and just keep that momentum going. TJ's getting the recovery ready just in case. After Basically at the start, so we figure we start down the start and work our way to the back of the property. Yeah, you still like that bar from it, but just go slow. 
end up in this rut. <laughs> okay, a little bit, a little bit that way. Stop there. Not too far. Yeah. Maybe go back and try our flight. So close. If you go back like a metre. What rocks there? Fucking hell. The lost city of tin. Oh, jeez, it's a bit of a treacherous track to get in. Oh, no, ex oh, no June access. No June access. Everyone was going on about the uh, for chassis flex on my vehicle. So, because I carry a lot of weight and it's past the back wheel, decided this was an important mod for me. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of an insight of how it's done and maybe you can decide if it's something you might need as well. Basically the boys uh, sort of prep the chassis area, clean off all the existing paint and uh, get it ready. The bracing plate will be welded onto the stock chassis. That's how you get your strength. As you can see in this footage, I'll show you now, when the car's off-road usually there is a lot of flex once you put weight past the wheels. This plate is what's going to stop that happening. So, so basically the chassis was cleaned up and uh, prepped and now we're just going to tack on the brace, make sure it's in the right spot and then weld her on basically. Pretty similar brace to when we did Max coil conversion except it had a lot more of them around the whole chassis. That is quite heavy. I can see why I need to upgrade his springs and have normal springs in the front. Let's take it off the front. That is that. Are you guys proud of me? I did this on my own. I mean, Jamin helped me lift it in. In a twist of fate, Jackson's sister just rang up and said she's bogged. So, perfect timing, I'd say. Oh, you're right. Working. Just keep driving slow. Oh, yeah. Stop. There we go, mate. Success, it works. <laughs> the winch winches. <laughs> 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 
Up to Sandy Strait now. That was, that was actually a lot more rock showing than normal because of all the erosion. Lots of rain lately. Bit of a cloud. Haven't, haven't hit the roof yet. <laughs> but overall today, the driving's been quite easy because there's been so much rain. The sand's like real compact and easy to drive on. All right, we've left the others. Just. Jamin in my car, we're gonna go check out Lake Mackenzie because I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, basically we're just on these inland roads. We're actually in better condition than I remember last time. This is all new, like this was near last year. Concrete, right? By North Queensland. Red dirt. Oh okay, so next day we're on the road to the tip. Proud that you did it. <laughs> so, just got to figure out which way is best for us today. Original gunshot, yes, extreme. <laughs> Extremely big. Fix it for me. If only you all had a Millsy. So we're gonna try and loosen out the mounts and try and reposition it. But it just means that we won't I won't be able to use the winch because it'll just move right away anyway. But should look yeah, it should look good for Instacrack. You can see you can see this bracket here is the one that seems to have bent. Because that's the cradle, that's the winch cradle. And it, it's just bending the steel when, when we went up it, which really shouldn't happen.
Great job, babe. Oh my God, good. Seems that Blakey's car might have either more clearance or you just know how to drive better than I do. Because <laughs> I'm stuck. But I think I just have to go across a little bit and it should be fine. No blank. Bloody brilliant. <laughs> Maybe my tyres are at the end of their life because um, you can just see it not biting at all. It's just crazy. Like, it's only a little bit wet out here and, and it makes it just so much harder.
Who's up next? Who, who's up for the challenge? <laughs> well, Tito brought this one through Enhanced Auto Works. Well, uh, Blakey got this in for us. Blakey's hooked me up. See, see the size in that, that bracket is the equivalent of that one. So that's like six mil steel and that's like three mil steel or something like. And this, well, that, that bracket there is, the, is this one here. Yeah, so, and so is, this, this replaces this. There's actually no comparison. They're about 10 times the size. And it's also not pulling on a fold, it's pulling on a straight fold. Yeah, a fold. it's sheer strength. So that's, that's going to clamp the frame and it's going to pull that way. So. Alrighty, we got the bar positioned up in place, exactly where we want it. <gasps> oh, sorry, sexual. Sexual content. Sexual content. I've been giving you the worst. Now you want to stay the night. Lives here, right near the caravan park, so he's taking us to his spot, a little floaty spot. Uh, it's gonna be good. Yeah, he calls it the pod version of Eli Creek. It's the pod version of Eli Creek, but it's similar, you just float down into the, into the ocean. Local knowledge, let's go. 
gonna have it. definitely have tyres down for this one, guys. Maybe it wasn't liking it, but go ride right down. It's very soft up here. Gotta go right down to town, I reckon. Stitched up with sunset again. Bloody clouds right on the horizon. When that happens, you don't get an actual sunset. So it like blocks it. But what do you do? What do you do? holding back cars on this little hill here. Oh, Jacob!